Hello everyone and welcome to another live from Rocks Review. I was in my studio today and I was like, hmm, let's do a live. Now, the main purpose of this video is to rank Garling among all the swordsmen. I have two ground rules. Number one, we shall not talk about Shanks versus Miyok. We're just not gonna do it. Not here, not today, not now. Hello to everybody who's joining us. So I'm gonna go over ground rules once more. First, we are not gonna talk about Shanks versus Mihawk. I am gonna shank, rank Shanks, and, I'm, and I am gonna rank Mihawk in this video, but I'm gonna avoid the debate as much as I can. Fun fact, I never, ever did a Shanks versus Mihawk video in my channel to pick up a winner, because yeah, that is a separate video, like one hour long. I don't wanna do it now. Number two, we shall discuss overall power. Like, I don't give a rat ass if Mihawk title is world's strongest swordsman. Whitebeard was world's strongest man, and I still rank Roger above him. I'm not going to go to that debate. I am not going to go to that debate. The sole purpose of this video is rank Garling among the top tiers. And I love one thing about this video. Just look at how many of these arts, like Rayleigh, Ryuma, Zebek, Zoro, Roger, and Garling. All of them are arts of my own channel, drawn by my amazing artist. I begged her to start her own channel. Probably I'm going to make her do a, a start her own channel one day to draw the arts. But I am just love the fact that I can use my own specific arts. I used so many arts from so many artists without giving them the credit that is a mistake of, on my behalf i wished there was any other way for me to uh, just stay alive in the youtube community without using these pictures and i wish there was a way to give all the credits that i that they deserve nonetheless we start a debate right now we have 19 swordsmen ryuma we have 19 swordsmen fujitora Shiryu of the Rain, Garling, Old Garling, King, Prime Garling. Actually, I'm going to put all the Old and Prime here because we're going to talk about them in the last. Big Mom, uh, Law, Green Bull, Odin, Shanks, Mihawk, Seraphim, Mihawk, S-Hawk, as you might say. Shiki, Rayleigh, Roger, Zoro, Zebek, Ryuma, Old Rayleigh, and Prime and Old Garling. But again, for example, we have King in this list, and we know for a fact, stated by Zoro, that King is not a swordsman. In this video, I have every person who is using a sword and worse their name. So perhaps you don't count King as a swordsman, Big Mom as a swordsman, or other characters as a swordsman. But if they are using sword, I'm going to have them, and this is going to be about overall power and not skill. Uh, it's cold weather. Yes, I'm actually shaking. This is this is a cold. Hello. Oh everyone. wait, there is a double voice. There is a double voice going on. I'm sorry for that. If there, if you heard double voice, I'm so sorry for that. So we start. We have Fujitora, easiest one, and we have him at admiral level. I'm not sure about his, his sword skill. If there is any issue with the voice, if there is any, any issue with anything, please comment down below. And we're going to spend a half of the video about guarding. But for the first half, let's rank all the swordsmen in the story. Fujitora, very obviously, an admiral should be at admiral level. Now, for example, I know that Kizaru used a light sword, but I'm not going to have him as a swordsman because, uh, like, no. If you need to have a physical blade, physical swords to be part of this list. Next, we have... Shiryu. Now, so many people said because Shiryu is the next major opponent to Zoro, he needs to be on Odin level. I don't think Oda look at it that way. I don't believe he, he does. Mm, because the opponent of Zoro in this arc, as of now, were Kaku and Luchi. And the rivals of Luffy were Kizaru. The proportion of their enemy, the level of the fight that they have, is not logical. Like, Zoro should be able to fight somebody way stronger than Luchi, but he's not. So if one day we got to know that Shiryu is here, as Zoro fans claim, or even here, comparable to Odin, so, so many people believe that next enemy of Zoro should be the, like as strong as Odin or even stronger because they assume Zoro is on Odin level, which I disagree as of now. 
So for me, he is on a high tier level. I hope so far there is no controversy. Maybe he's low top tier. Maybe he's low top tier. But for now, I'm going to say high tier. He, the only achievement that he has is that he was comparable to Magellan, but feared him, and he gave a surprise attack to Garp, who wasn't even dodging by hockey. Achilles for days so said Kizaru was pretty underwhelming, given, the, uh, given that he got literally and uh, metaphorically stumped by Luffy. I think Zoro could probably beat him. I'm, I'm not going to go that far, but... Uh, I'm not going to go like, as far as saying that Zoro can defeat him, but Kizaru was way more underwhelming to me compared to Kuzan. So... And by the way, uh, Hawkeye, I've ranked um, Shanks and Mihawk many times. If, if you followed my live, you already know what I'm going to say. I miss St. Ethan Baron versus... Ethan Baron? He's... Who's that? Who's that? I'm, I'm sure I, I... Is that from Full Metal Alchemist? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Ethan Baron. <laughs> the Gandhi dude. I, I said Gandhi dude so many times, I forgot. Maybe I do a separate video about him because I, we can't rank him properly. I'm going to leave the guessings of this video about Gandhi. Next, we have King. As of now, logically, he should be above Shiryu. But again, narrative matter in every video, power level, narrative matter. And I put... Uh, him above uh, Shiryu above King because he has to, he's a future opponent of Zoro. He needs to be at least uh, stronger than uh, King. Next we have Big Mom. Now the actual Big Mom from Wano that forgot she has hockey is here. I, I think m all the admirals defeat her. But let's like first of all let's take a look at this beautiful picture. Let's let's enjoy the moment while I'm talking about her. Big Mom is a Yonko, Big Mom is a superhuman, Big Mom is having have one of the most effective devil fruits. She has conquer hockey, she can do Hawkeye. I cannot comprehend why she was defeated to Keaton Law for any other reason than plot. Any other reason than plot. And she wasn't even beaten, she was defeated. The only reason Big Mom died after Oda nerfed the fuck out of her was the fact that she, she had no ground to stand. She fell. And she couldn't summon Zeus. She lost to match up disadvantage. One of the rarest things that can happen to Big Mom sh since she's perfect in every matchup. So the actual Big Mom with all of her powers, young, old, I don't care, is on Yonko level. I And she, even Big Mom as of now, receiving a better hype than Kuzan and Kizaru or Green Bull. I, it's unfair to say put, put Big Mom at on that level it just it's just it's fairly unfair it's fairly unfair next we have law and i think law is a definition of low top tier since he was able to almost give the most damage to big mom and he single-handedly fought against all of the blackbeard pirates his karoom is a very broken attack something comparable to attacks of best hockey users that we've seen so far He's a very versatile attacker. He lacks a stamina, but right now he's better. Again, overall, he's a low top tier. He's a great fighter. Next, we have Green Bull. Now, I'm f narratively, Green Bull should be above Fujitora because Admirals are being introduced in, in, in order. Admirals are fighting for real against the main character in Strength's order. I believe back then, the, in pre-time skip, uh, Kuzan was the weakest, then Kizaru, then Aokuji. Now is Fujitora, then Green Bowl, then Kizaru. Sure, we saw the battle of Kuzan, but Kuzan wasn't fighting against Luffy. We have Kizaru, we have Kuzan, and we have Akainu. So I'm gonna respect the narrative. I know Green. I know many people shit on Green Bowl because he was like facing, like he, he Shanks bullied him. But and even Goldie Roger cannot face Wano Alliance Shanks and Red Hair Pirates. Even Goldie Roger will get gang banged if he fight against Wano Alliance, Shanks, and his entire crew. Goldie Roger will be tear apart. If the strongest man narratively so far, narr for a fact, safest pet, 
maybe Zemeckis is stronger. Most likely Zemeckis is stronger. If Goldie Roger, in my opinion, can't do that, Greenball cannot do it. He, he did the right thing by running away. Next, we have Odin. Now, Odin can both be on Yonko level and that. Yonko, uh, Odin, narratively speaking, is on Yonko level. Odin, attack power, is on Yonko level. But overall, based on his feet, like some characters, their feet and their hype doesn't match. The on-screen hype of Odin it should be around here. In some rare cases here, because in actual this translation, we have the statement, when, Ki when Kuzuki Odin returned from his journey, he was no less than the greatest pirates in the world. Kuzuki Odin said, if right now I cannot defeat Kaido, no man alive can do it. Kaido put him among Pirate King Level's character. So he has claim for Pirate King Level. He has feats of a Yonko level character. His feats are better than Big Mom. But I'm going to put him on Admiral level because of his underwhelming defeat. Like, I believe the white star, white star of Luffy was a stronger attack compared to Thunder Bagua. His defense, probably his defense and his battle IQ, I don't know. Odin on-screen performance was underwhelming, and that's one of the reasons that I wish his son will rip, uh, do better. Now, now we are on the danger zone. For, for, for now, for now, for now, I'm letting you guys, I'm getting you guys fight it out. Only 19 likes? Come on, I, knew it, it, I know I'm doing something controversial, but come on, at least we can do 50 likes. Come on, we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. 50 likes. Guys, I'm counting on you. Shanks versus Mihawk. I think, I think in this poll, I think in this poll, Mihawk is going to do far better than my channel poll because the best Mihawk did in the channel poll was like 25%. I think here is going to be much closer. You fight it out while you're talking about Shanks versus Mihawk. I'm gonna talk. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna ignore you for, for a while. But 50 likes? Come on, guys. We can. We can absolutely do it. I'm not even asking you to be to join my channel as a member. I'm just asking you to like. This is a. This is a come on. Your likes means a lot to me. Now, and they are randomly side by side. I didn't genuinely put that here. I'm gonna put Shanks on Pirate King level. Mihawk is either Pirate King level or Yonko level. Mihawk can be here. I have no objection to this theor uh, theory. He can be Pirate King level because he has Black Blade, which is one of the rarest powers in the world. But I'm going to hype the shit out of him as soon as he gets any feet. Some people will assume that I'm a Mihawk hater. I'm doing Shanks with Mihawk. I'm not a Mihawk hater. I'm just saying I respect you when actual story on screen respected you actual story respected Garling more than she more than Mihawk on screen based on feats. Mihawk feats are at best Yonko level. He was the like come on you at least you I mean even the people who have Mihawk above Shanks and again it's one of the easiest answers ever. I have no objection. I have no objection. I don't agree but I don't have objection. Uh I guess even the people who believe in this, that Mihawk is a Pirate King level who is above Shanks, which are not a low number, they agree that Mihawk's performance as a top tier is among the worst as of now. And Shanks is, if not the best, is among best on screen. So based on on screen, as of now, Shanks, among, Shanks Pirate uh, King level, because he, he have better hockey feats than Roger. <laughs> Honestly. Objectively speaking, I have a hard time believe I have a hard time understanding how Prime Whitebeard and Roger can defeat Shanks if Shanks can kill their hockey. Unless they have the same capabilities. Unless they have magical hockey or that level of speed. Or <laughs> I don't know. I think this is my fairest uh, presumption. And again, it's a very equally matched poll right now. A lot of people are saying, oh, thanks for the 50 likes. Let's see if we can go to 100. Uh, and again, it might be like, oh, 50-50%. So uh, again, it's a very close debate. 
I, I'm, I'm, I'm not against anyone who says Mihawk is above Shanks. His title is World's Strongest Swordsman. But for every argument that we have in favor of Mihawk, we have one against him. He's the world's strongest swordsman, so he needs to be above Shanks. First of all, Roger said swords. Oda actually in manga said sword skill. It's actually in there that Mihawk's sword skill is above Shanks. Oda could have said that he's stronger than Shanks. No, he chose to say sword skill. Or, for example, Whitebeard is the world's strongest man, but narrator said Whitebeard was even capable of fighting Roger once, and Whitebeard wasn't even the strongest person Roger faced. He's the strongest rival. So this can make sense. I've got nothing against it as much as uh, I don't show it. I don't show my Mihawk support. But here's it. Okay, and that's it. That's my statement. Mihawk can be Pirate King level, but for now, I'm going to wait. That's the safest bet. Next, we have high tiers. Now, by default, the S Hawk, which sounds like S Hawk, which is the Hebrew way of saying, Hebrew or Arabic way of saying Jacob, S Hawk. He has to be above King because he's, he has everything you can do. I can do better. I can do anything better than you. He has a massive. The, the attack power of S Hawk was like mountain level. He his defense is as good as King, even better. We never see him show the speed feats, but his fire never turned off. So King has no way of defeating him. Honestly, <laughs> Shiryu doesn't as well. Like I, how, how, how? Unless we have to accept. Shiryu of the Rain has advanced conquer hockey. He cannot defeat. Zoro fans, I'm going to, I'm uh, honestly, uh, objectively here is more suitable for him. Here is very logical, but I already have, you see, Mihawk fans, I, I'm not going to give you Mihawk above Shanks, but I'm going to give you Shiryu above Sarapins. Come on. I'm a fair man. I am a just and fair man. <laughs> Come on. No. Uh, God's servant said, thanks for your comment. Maybe Pirate King is just a title of a Yonko. Now we are nothing in front of world government. That's true. We, we actually don't have a Yonko level and a Pirate King level. Whitebeard was a Yonko who is definitely on Pirate King level. Kaido to me is Pirate King level. Shanks to me is Pirate King level. But I think there are differences between top tiers. I think there are differences between the top tier. So, and again... I believe people who come to my lives are experts and veterans people who follow One Piece. And this, this poll makes much more sense to me than Shanks versus Mihawk in my community, where more casual One Piece readers go. Like, in the eyes of the casual One Piece reader, Shanks should be far above Mihawk because they only judge the on-screen performance. But you guys, the expert, the, 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 the poll is 50-50. So I love every single one of you because you are, every single of you are qualified to have a YouTube channel. I'm, I'm not kidding. I'm not bothering you up. We have Shiki. Now, Shiki is definitely above Admiral level. Shiki, again, if we're talking about a full power big mom, a full power big mom, she should be above Shiki. Even Sengoku hyped in the God Valley flat in chapter 957, Big Mom, Kaido, and Whitebeard received better hype than Shiki. That's a fact. Sengoku said, Whitebeard, Big Mom, and Kaido were part of Rock's crew. Also, Shiki and so on were part of it. So narratively, even though big, even though Shiki, and Shiki is also is just a loser, if you, if you think. I mean, Shiki and Big Mom are in such a good company because they are losers. They always lose. Shiki lost God Valley. Shiki lost uh, to <laughs> Roger. Shiki lost to Marine. Shiki lost in filler. And I have a theory that Shanks became a Yonko by defeating Shiki. So Shiki was just a certified loser. I understand that he's very strong. I'm putting him on freaking Yonko level. But Mihawk should be above him. Mihawk should be more profound Hawk users. Mihawk, again, I genuinely believe that Mihawk, observe, just like Shanks, who can kill Hockey, 
Mihawk should have magical capabilities of Hockey, for example, showing other false future. One of I, I genuinely believe Shanks created the killing skill, the killing observation his skill because he had no other choice if he wanted to fight Mihawk. Mihawk kept showing him the false future and had the upper hand, so Shanks just created the skill to make fight even. So he killed Observation Hockey. I believe Mihawk is a very profound and master in all aspects of hockey. He has Black Blade for God's sake. So a very broken hockey user should be above Shiki and Big Mom who rely mostly on their non-hockey capabilities. Shiryu is non ca wait, wait, wait. God Knight, Shiryu is a not is a con man. He is admiral only to ordinary people. Bra got nerfed by uh that's true. Sh Shiryu on screen is very underwhelming. Prince Miura said Shiki about Big Mom. She ca he can be, but again, in the actual manga, Sengoku was like Kaido, Big Mom, Whitebeard, and also Shiki and Captain John and so on. So he, she, Big Mom received a better hype. Maybe her performance was trash. Maybe her performance was trash. So. I think if, okay. I don't know. Um, I, I really, okay. Rayleigh. Okay, I mean, you know what? You know what? Big mom, fuck you. Fuck. Not in a good way. Like, honestly, I know narratively this is where you belong, but I cannot put you... I cannot, I cannot. You see what I'm saying? It's very unfair to say you, after all of those shitty achievements, after all of those shitty fights, belong above Rayleigh and... I mean, Rayleigh doesn't have any great one-on-one -on -one feet. But his hype is most solid in the story. Really has no L's, which is a massive hype. You know what, Big Mom? Oda didn't show you enough respect. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna show you the. Maybe Shiki was a Yonko level god servant uh, who glowed down to Yonko commander level. Maybe. Trust Seeker said, hello, Rocks. Hello to you too, man. How is the poll 50-50? Because it, it makes sense. It makes sense for Shanks and Mihawk to be 50-50. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm going to have to do one above Shiki and Big Mom. I'm going to let you decide. So with uh, 98 votes, Shanks barely won. And she, like, it's an it's a equal match. I love that you guys made it an equal vote. I love it. But I know Shiki gonna win because nobody likes Big Mom or should respect her. But let's do one more. If if Shiki win this poll, I'm gonna put Big Mom below Rayleigh. I'm gonna respect the majority. I'm gonna give the majority vote to people. You see? Have you seen the Gangs of New York? Beautiful movie. Oh, <laughs> I I copied. So Shiki won immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Shiki won immediately and by a good guy. Okay, that's fair. You see, you know what? At the end of the day, you need to respect. Uh, and that's true because I'm putting Shanks above. Thanks for correcting me. Uh, I again, this, this power scaling monster is hard. Roger <laughs> easily pirate king level. Honestly, <laughs> Shanks arsenal of power so far was better than Roger. But I'm gonna put Sh uh, Brad. It's it's a man of Brad. Come on. If if I put Shanks above Roger, you have the right to dislike and unsubscribe. Even if Shanks is above Roger, if I right now say Shanks is above Roger, you have the right to dislike and unsubscribe. That's just a that's just your real, real right. Shanks can be, but so far I right now I can't. Zoro, I think. I'm gonna do one about Zoro versus Law. I think both of them are in a low top tier state. I don't think any of them can defeat a top tier. Because even the damage that Law gave to Teach was not that much. The damage that Garb gave to Kuzan was a bit more. And, Ku and I don't think 
Teach is really solid Yonko level character. Like he, if if he was in this list, he would have been among the le weakest of Yonko level. So I'm probably gonna do Shiki is winning by far. Guys, 89 people so far. Let's at least make 80 likes means a lot to me. So, Shiki getting... Okay, people giving... Uh, God Servant, let's show Big Mom the D she deserves. Big Mom, D Mom. Big D Mom. <laughs> Again, Big Mom got all the Ds that she deserved. Trust me on that. I mean... <laughs> didn't read the title, Anaya. So... I think Shiki won that poll. It's pointless to keep it up. It's po it's pointless to keep it up. Come on, it's Shiki. Shiki won. So let's let's see, have you guys fight it out against uh, Zoro versus La. Zoro versus La. I think Zoro is gonna win this debate. I think Zoro is gonna win this debate. It's really odd if Zoro lose a poll. But again, you guys prove to be experts. 100% of the votes for Zoro. Damn. Mihawk Roger. Nah. So, <laughs> Rocksteeds are back. Again. 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 It, uh, I'm not gonna discuss this. Rox is a big strongest character. See, see, some people, some people genuinely said to me that you only hype Rox because you believe he's Shang's father. Well, that was a reason, but not the entire reason. Like now we know for we also we almost for 98, 99 percent should know the father of Shanks is Garling because <laughs> of the doll. But that's that's not. I look like a biased man. I do. I mean, what's the point of being a fan if you're not biased? <laughs> Why are you a fan if you're not a biased? I hate it when someone says, Oh, I'm an unbiased fan. Why? You're a scientist? What, what, what the hell are you doing? Then you, if, you're not, if you're not a fan of a character, if you're not biased, what's the point of being in a fan base? Because these are not just cartoons. These are not just drawing. Every character is an ideology. Every character is a belief system. Every character is somebody that we desire to be. So characters are ideas. Being biased toward them, being a fan of them, is, is a sign of maturity to my eyes. People will say, I am an unbiased fan. I don't like you. Don't come near me. Next, we have Ryuma. Now, Ryuma can be here, he can be here, he can be here. He can be uh, here. <laughs> Ryuma can be anywhere. And by, oh God, look at this art. Come on. I'm going to give a shout out to my artist. Sadly, she, she doesn't have an account or I would have. She's not active in social media. Uh, I'm going to say here. Like in some videos, I say Mihawk is above Sh Ryuma. In this video, I'm going to say Ryuma is above Mihawk. We, we should know they are as the pinnacles. I think if, if you put a gun in my head, I'm going to say here. If you put a gun in my head, but in some videos I say here. Now I'm going to say here because we don't know, but we should know that world's strongest swordsmen should be comparable to each other. It makes sense. And finally, 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 can Mihawk beat any of the admirals? Yes. Thanks, Sina, for your comment. Roger versus... Uh, okay, I'm going to do it, but... I, I, don't, I don't think... I don't think... I don't think Roger can win that. I don't think Roger can win that, honestly. I honestly got... Thanks for 80 votes means a lot. All of you being in this odd hour. Ryuma only be on Pirate King level... Ryuma only a Pirate King level, you're so fine. I didn't say only a Pirate King level. I said he can be a Pirate King level. Because we just don't know. He has a very solid unknown hype. He was the man who saved a country from the world. But who was the people who were attacking him? 
How did he stop them? How many ha help Ryuma had? Why he doesn't have a supreme blade? All of these questions are important. Ryuma is only Yonko level. Are you sure about that? Why not? I'm, I don't have... You see, here's the thing. People who... Are, he can be here, but I don't have a solid reason to put him here. Who knows? Honestly, we can do a speculation video about Ryuma, but for now... And old really, I'm gonna say here. I, if if I do a poll right now, Zoro gonna win against Dark King Rayleigh. But I believe Dark King Rayleigh's speed and observation hockey gives him the edge over in a, in a fight to Zoro. If the fight go for long, for the lack of stamina, Rayleigh will lose. But I think Rayleigh is smart enough to understand the fight shouldn't go long. So that's it. That's that's my idea about power level of swordsman. In the story, Zebek, Roger, and Shanks on Pirate King level, Ryuma, Mihawk, Shiki, Rayleigh, Big Mom on Yonko level, Olden, <laughs> Greenbolt, Fujitoru on Admiral level, Old Rayleigh, Zoro Law on low top tier, Shiryu, S Hawk, and King on high top tier. High, <laughs> high tier. So, now, the actual part of the video gonna start now. Petition to put Shanks on Yonko level. Mate, this is my channel. This, this is my channel. At some level, the majority vote doesn't matter to me. <laughs> At some point, the majority vote doesn't matter to me. You can have a petition of putting Mihawk on, on Pirate King level, but you're not gonna put Shanks on Yonko le level under my watch. No. I am biased as fuck. And honestly... No matter how big of a Shanks fan I am, remember, the biggest Shanks fan is Oda. So, go ahead and bet against Shanks. It's just madness. Did, didn't Zoro even say King was not a swordman? Again, uh, Thomas, go back to the beginning of the video. I explained all of that. Why Ryuma at Yonko? Because I don't, I don't know. Because I, who knows? Who knows? Why should we say he's on Yon Pirate King level? We just don't know. Again, Joy Bo Ryuma was called by a local group of people. Enel was also called God. Ryuma wasn't a world God. He was locally called God. By people that he saved. Enel was also called a God. Celestial dragons are also called a God. So, I mean, I get it. This is controversial. I understand every point. So somebody is saying Odin above Big Mom. I understand. Okay. Why not? Okay, let me let me do let me do so 60 60 percent vo vote for. I'm gonna do justice to Odin as well in this list. I'm gonna do justice to Odin as well. I think Celestial Dragon World Government massacred God Valley and uh, framed uh, rocks about it and uh, to put him a fight. <clears throat> God servant. That's a f very out of the box view, but that might also destroy. God Valley High. 90 people with us means a lot. Do not forget to like. 90 likes is the least we can do. Come on, we can do it. So, the actual video starts from now. I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do one last poll about Odin versus Big Mom. Odin power level. Yonko level. Admiral level. I'm gonna respect the majority vote. Uh, in this poll as well. If majority votes that Odin is Yonko level, I'm gonna put him on Yonko level. Because, uh, yeah, why not? I think Odin's gonna be on Yonko level by many people's standard. Most people say I'd be on level. It makes, again. I, Odin, I gave you the chance, but the people s stood with me. Sorry, mate, your hype Again, you have three Pirate King level hype. But, or maybe the votes are changing. I don't know. Mihawk is on Pirate King level. He can be on Pirate King level when he earned it. Hey, Rox, do you think is there, who is more stronger? Kaido? Okay, okay. Uh, here's the thing. 100%, 100% of argument behind Mihawk versus Shanks is that Mihawk has world's strongest swordsman title. 
So any, any Mihawk fan who claims Mihawk is above Kaido is a fraud to me. Because if your entire point for Mihawk versus Shanks debate is title, you will need to have the decency of respecting the title logic and go with, Pi uh, with Kaido above Mihawk and Prime Beard above Mihawk. I for, I, for myself, I'm saying titles are a prospection of the world. Like, they, like this is, these are not facts. Like, who had the right to give the title of World's Strongest Man to Roger, to uh, Whitebeard when Roger never defeated Roger, uh, uh, when Whitebeard never defeated Roger? Who had the authority? Who had the knowledge? Who? So titles are not facts. But people who say Mihawk is above Shanks should say Kaido is above Mihawk because their logic is respecting title. How can I say, what if Rox was a good guy trying to gather the strongest pie? No, I, I don't believe that. I'm a Rox fan. Um, this is Rox review I love. But Rox should have been evil. I don't think Rox was a good person. I, I don't think. I, I think he, he probably... The odds of him being the most vicious pirate is more than a good person. Because Roger and Garp chose to defend Celestial Dragons in front of him. They knew that if we fight Zebek, we are fighting... We are saving Celestial Dragons. They did it anyway. Zebek was a menace. So. Garling. First, we're gonna talk about Prime Garling. I think if we know the Prime Garling, we can go to higher level. So, step by step, I start from Admiral level. Anything less than that. First of all, so many people say that Garling is featless. We only saw him for two panels first. Garling is the commander of Ho Holy Knights, a power based title. If people call Dragon Pirate King level because he's the father of Luffy and son of Garp, if blood matters, Garling being the exact carbon copy of his son Shanks, who is, to my eyes, a top y Yonko or a Pirate King level character, should also matter. Also, he is probably, narratively, the person who gave a scar to Prime Whitebeard. Some people say that, okay, no, back then, Whitebeard was younger. He was 36. Oda confirmed that only two years from now, from 36, he was as a pinnacle of his power. And go read chapter 1097. Look at this face. Garling objectively seems younger than Whitebeard. Shanks back then in the, in the first chapter seems as young as this Shanks. So the age argument doesn't work if Garling was the person who gave the scar to Whitebeard because Garling is even younger. So if Whitebeard is not in his prime, you can say the same thing easier about Garling because objectively Garling looks younger. So I'm going to do a poll and start talking about so ma vast majority of people saying that uh, at the level. So, is Shanks above Kaido? Uh, I think Shanks, if we have like one versus hundred, like maybe Shanks cannot defeat Ten Marco, but Kaido can. But in a one-on-one -on -one fight, um, I have my money on Shanks. I I'm having I'm creating a. Rank, uh, strongest Yonko video as we speak. The video is, uh, uh, my editor is working on it. On my second channel, Rocks Review Long, if you want to join. I agree, Pirate King level, just a team given by Marine. Looked like Blackbeard, he looked like a Yonko crew. So, we just start talking about Garling. Prime Garling. I just need to stop shouting. Fujidoro. Uh, I think as of now, Kaido is stronger than Mihawk, but Mihawk can be above uh, Kaido. I think if I think Mihawk has the opportunity of defeating Kaido because of the matchup, but who is a stronger? I'm gonna go with Kaido. But among every character. Mihawk have one of the uh, Mihawk might be among top two characters who can defeat Kaido because of the fight style. 
So 86% of people are saying that he is above admirals. So I'm going to push prime garling here and then here. I don't think if you guys vote for him. So, and I agree. If I don't think Whitebeard <laughs> get PTSD from Fujitora or Greenbelt, I think he, they are capable of giving him a great fight, but not PTSD level fight. Yeah, I, I don't think Prime Garling is going to lose to them. Like, it doesn't make much sense. Admirals, again, I understand they are very, very disrespected. I'm not going to do any uh, versus battle who is not here. Again, if uh, Saturn, Kizaru, and Gorosi feared Garling while he was old, he's way above Admirals. That's true. And again, Garling, even at old age, is the supreme commander of God, Holy Knights, and Dragon feared Holy Knights more than Admirals. And fun fact, he said 89 likes. Come on, guys. 100 is very close to us. 100 likes, we can do it. Let's do it. Uh, Dragon said, Ryuma and Joe are fraud god. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not saying that Ryuma is a fraud god. I'm saying being called a god doesn't put you on pirate level. Uh, Dragon feared the power of holy knights more than he feared the power of admirals on surface. That's a fact. So Prime Guarding takes, uh, takes the W against admirals. Prime Guarding. Next, we have Ever versus Odin. Prime, Garling versus Odin. I'm going to go with majority votes while I'm talking about my, my own opinion. Now, the greatest achievement of Odin, fight-wise, was giving a scar to a non-prime Kaido who wasn't using Awakening nor Hybrid Form, nor Advanced Conquer Hockey. The greatest feat of Prime Garling is that he gave a scar to Prime Whitebeard. So it's not even close. So it's not even close. So, and now let's take a look at your votes. A lot of people, a lot. I, I think Admiral Yonko at this point. Hmm. Really? Do you re I'm not going to mock this opinion because this can still be a solid. Thanks for 90 likes. Can't, thanks. I don't... Some people are talking about Rox being a good person. I think Rox was the lesser evil. But I don't think a world under Rox would have been a better world. I think even... I think it, this might be controversial, but I think world government was better for the world than rocks if rocks would have been a king. At least on surface. Do you, what do you think, uh, Roger or Prime Whitebeard? Narrator, narrator is, again, narrator cannot make a mistake. And narrator said, Prime Whitebeard was even capable of fighting Roger once. That word even puts narratively Roger above Whitebeard. So that's not even a matter of opinion at, 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 at this point. So most of you, just like me, say Prime Garling is above Odin. We move on. If you want to vote, vote fast. Next poll. Next poll. Prime Garling is Yonko level. Should we put him a level higher? Should we put him on Yonko level or not? That's the question as of now. I'm ending the. Po I'm gonna say yes. My personal opinion is yes. I'm gonna put him at Yonko level for sure, for sh for sure, for sure. Okay, so is it good? Yeah, we still have it. Okay, that's good. Eighty, eighty-six, eighty percent of people. Yonko level prime it's 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 just an insult to narrative. I think Garling right below Shanks. 
That also makes sense, but I, mm, that also makes sense. So I think as of now, a lot of people agree with me, Yonker level. I'm gonna end the poll at 40, come on. We, we need few votes. We need only few votes, come on. I think Prom Godling should be below Shanks and Old Godling should be equal to or below Odin. So 40 votes on Yonker level. The next, we have Garling versus Big Mom. Again, the greatest achievement that B Big Mom has as a fighter is that, honestly, that Roger refused to fight, to directly go after Big Mom. I think, narratively speaking, that's the greatest hype that he, that Big Mom has. Giving a scar to Prime White Beard is, is above that. To me, it's above that. But next one is going to be tricky. I know it. I know it. I know the next one is going to be very tricky. I guess because I think a lot of people believe uh, Rayleigh is on Pirate King level. I think Rayleigh is overhyped. I, if, if I right now do a poll about Rayleigh versus Mihawk or Shiki versus uh, Rayleigh versus Mihawk or Rayleigh versus Shiki, Rayleigh perhaps going to co come on top. But to me, he's the right hand man and he should be below the rivals of Luffy. For the same reason that I believe uh, Zoro can never surpass Teach. The only real rival in the piracy world that Luffy has is Teach, by the way. It's not Shanks. They are not from the same generation. It's not Kaido. It's not Big Mom. Kid and Law. No. So let's do the moment of truth. I think this, this, this might be a person. This, this might be a place for us to disagree. I think the disagreement right so far, we were on the same page. If the world government has so much power, uh, Admiral Yonko. Ah. Uh, I, th I, I made few videos saying that world government need pirates to justify the tyranny. I think that makes sense. But again, I am not in favor of world government being this as strong. I never liked the idea. I don't support the idea. But at this point, it's not up to my opinion. As far as I could have had opinion, I would have had world government not that. But I, I, if, if, it was, if I was the writer of One Piece, I would never make one, um, Goro says individually top tiers. But I am not. I am a reader. I am uh, at best a critique. S at best. So I only need to respect the opinion of Goda and say, okay, this is your story. This is your choice. And we have to respect it. Prime Garling versus Dark King. I, I, I know the hype of Dark King is going to come and bite me in the ass. I know it's going to happen. We are so close to 100 likes. Let's do it. We can do it. Let's do it. We can do it. I hate this about One Piece. Luffy and other main character have to do everything. They can't let Zoro or... Oh, yeah. It's started from New World. It started from New World. Uh, all the straw hats went on the shadow. I don't like it either. Garling equal to Whitebeard above Ray. Can anybody give me a feat of Prime Rayleigh other than being Prime Rayleigh? Honestly, can anybody give me that? I knew it's gonna happen, and I knew this is a place of you disagree with me, but while the hype of being the right-hand man of Roger is very great, but it's not giving us an exact range. Prime Garling has an exact range of being very comparable to Prime Whitebeard. To me, that's the case. So I'm going to ignore the majority vote on this one. I'm going to ignore the majority vote on this one. But if anybody have arguments about Rayleigh above... Uh, Uh, Garling, I'm gonna read it. I'm thinking Mihawk greater than Shanks, not because of the title, is that it does not make sense for Zoro not to fight anyone other than the strongest swordsman. Again, it also, I, I, uh, in that point, I agree, but Oda is trying to separate overall power from sword skill. 
And that's not just an empty comment. The, the term sword skill exists in One Piece chapter 1058. So that's, a, uh, that's something that Oda can do. But again, the idea of Zoro Dream, therefore Mihawk Shanks makes perfect sense. But no, 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 no. Oda said both Shanks and Old Rady can knock out 100,000 fishmen. You do not compare people based on the minimum. You compare people based on the maximum. I can beat a 15 years old girl. Mike Tyson can beat a 15 years old girl. I'm not equal to Mike Tyson. You do not compare people based on the minimum of their capability. Oda said that both Shanks and Old Rady can do this. But this is a minimum, not a maximum. You do not compare minimum to maximum. Look at Rayleigh's speed against gear four. That's a filler fight. And again, <laughs> that's not even a great feat. Snake Man is much faster. I, 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 like, first of all, the Rayleigh battle is a filler. And how do we know that if Garling is as fast as Shanks, that's way better speed feat. Uh, Salman Obi, please stop repeating. I, I read the Tyson. Yes, I am bare. Like I did I, just before the live, I did 50 push ups. So, yes, I am really equal to Mike Tyson. Maybe when he is dying, maybe at right one second before his death, maybe I can take him then. Maybe. <laughs> but if he looks at me bad, I probably will shit my pants. <laughs> uh, and again, that was training. Uh, the, the moment of Rayleigh versus Gear 4 is filler to begin with. So, we cannot base that. So I get it. I know. I know the old uh, Dark King really. In fact, forty-five percent is absolutely mesmerizing. But now, let's go based on my poll. Let's go based on my poll. Prime Gar Rocks. Do you think Shanks surpassed Roger? I think he can surpass Roger. I think his capabilities. His speed is clearly much better than Roger. The capability of killing hockey is. Insane. The capability of killing observation hockey is insane. His observation hockey itself is the best on the series. His conquer hockey is best on the series on screen. But Roger is the pirate king, so I'm not gonna fight that. He can be above. He can be above him, but I'm not gonna fight that. So assuming, assuming based on my humble, probably wrong. Who cares? Who knows? Uh, if Shiki is above Rayleigh, if who's the stronger, Prime Garling or Shiki? Prime Garling took the votes very fast. Shanks man with uh, observation hockey and future side wasn't doing better against Kizan with an old rusty. He had him on the so he he had him in film red. Kizaru didn't had a chance against Shanks. Rem what? In film red, he was ridiculously. He had in film red. Shanks had Kizaru in his mercy in a matter of five seconds. At his mercy. This is what happened when you didn't show your important character. <laughs> That's true. It's a lot of a speculation. I I understand. It's it it's um, completely on me. Now. I wish I didn't had uh, Ryuma. You know what? You know what, Ryuma? I'm not gonna have you on my list. I don't know if you're Pirate King level. I don't know if you're God tier level. I don't know if you're low top tier level. I don't. I, I don't know anything. I'm not gonna have you. So, well, first of all, 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 let me do a Shiki versus Prime Rayleigh. Really. Let me do a Shiki versus Prime Rayleigh. Really. Rocks uh, had luck of gold like all Joy Boy. Shank and Sepes, oh yeah. I, I don't know, at the end of the day, Oda is a Shanks fan, not a Roger fan. I think I know this, Dark King versus Mihawk. I think people are gonna put Dark King above Mihawk. Whoa. 
I know people gonna go with Miha. I I know people gonna go with Dark King. But I I I, I don't know. Maybe you guys go with Miha. I don't know. Yes, Miha is winning. I love it when g g g narrat narratively makes very little sense if me if narratively make little little sense if really is about Miha. Thanks. I'm so happy to be with you. Where is Newgate? Newgate is, is a blade user, but he's not a swordsman. Like, not every blade is a sword. Tanks! Tanks! I love you guys. Miyak is obviously above Dark King, really. So, you, so if, if we, okay, so you know what? Since you guys deemed Rayleigh to be above Shiki, I'm gonna do the same. You know what? We can work together. In this list, so far, I'm, I don't know. Since you guys agreed that Mihawk is above Rayleigh, I'm gonna have him here. So you guys don't agree that me. Uh, that, okay. So I think the next poll is kind of meaningless because you guys said Rayleigh is above Garling and you guys said that Mihawk is above Rayleigh. So by default, the next poll should be Mihawk is above Rayleigh. Mihawk is above uh, Garling. I should know. It, it, it's, it's very obviously coming. Mihawk, like, it's amazing. 100 likes, thanks a lot. If anybody haven't liked so far or subscribed, do it, please. So it's okay. Mihawk won. And now the moment of truce. Assuming Garling versus Mihawk. Garling Garling, if he gave the scar, Mihawk. Now, I need to know your opinion about this. Mihawk versus Garling. Let's assume Garling, if he gave this. Uh, so I put three options. Mihawk, Garling, Garling, if he is the person who gave the scar. Mihawk is winning. Of course. Now, actually, I agree with you. Actually, I agree with you. Because to me, the most limited, I have two reasons to say Mihawk is above Garlic. Two reasons. First of all, the most equal person to Shanks should not be his father, should be Mihawk. Like, I'm putting him on Pirate King level, him on Yonko level, but this is 51% versus 49%. Like, I'm not putting a gap. This is like 1-2% difference as of now, to me, narratively. Hopefully, if Oda does it, if Oda sh finally do something about Mihawk. And Mihawk can also be here. He can be here. But here's the thing. Narratively, the person who is the closest to Shanks should be Mihawk. And since I believe Shanks should be a stronger than Garling, Mihawk should also be above Garling. Two, I believe there is a chance for Garling to be hailed as world's strongest swordsman of his own generation. That is the maximum power imaginable for Garling, in my humble opinion. And Mihawk is the current world's strongest swordsman. So even if my wildest imaginable power level for Garling be true, which is world strongest swordsman of his own generation, uh, Mihawk still is above him, narratively. So in two narrative reasons, even though Mihawk perhaps doesn't have a feat as incredible as giving a scar to Prime Whitebeard. He has a legendary duel in his resume that Whitebeard deemed worthy of being called a legend. But even if Garling gave that scar, Mihawk narratively should be above him for two reasons. Mihawk should be the closest to Shanks, not his father. At maximum capability, I believe, Prime Garling was equal to... Uh, was the world's strongest swordsman of his own generation. Therefore, Mihawk should be above Prime Garling since he's the new world's strongest swordsman. 
that's where I'm standing, so I'm standing with you. So technically, based on your votes, the only difference we have as of now is that you rank really here, rank uh, guarding and really here, while I rank them here. The only difference that we have as of now is here. But I'm gonna have two more polls. So Mihawk won, Mihawk won by a good chance. Thanks for all of you guys. Yeah, I, I guess so many of you expected me to say Garling. I bet my ass many of you said expected me to say Garling. Mitch, you ended the poll exactly when... I don't know. Uh, so, Mihawk... No, Garling... Before comparing him to the Pyro King level, Garling ver was world's strongest swordsman. Of his era. Let's see this argument for a while. Was he the world's strongest? So somebody had to be, right? I mean, I mean, right now when Whitebeard died, nobody is called world's strongest man. It's not that every era should have a world's strongest swordsman, or every era had should have a world's strongest man. You get those titles when you earn those titles, and if those titles are unearned, it makes sense to. Hmm. I would go for Zebek. So here's the thing, here's the thing. Uh, continuing the polls doesn't make sense because me and you both agree that Garlink is not stronger than Mihawk. So, and I and you guys said Shanks and Mihawk are, like the votes were like 50-50, I, I think. Uh, and Roger and Zebek should be. So, so based on your votes, based on logic, based on everything, continuing the polls, it doesn't make sense because we already know that Garling can't win, but let's see how the gap. I I would I would po if if Kaido was here, I would put him right next to Shanks on Pirate King level. But Mihawk and Garling have a chance of defeating Kaido based on the matchup, because I believe Kaido is weak against people with superior attack power. Kaido, yeah, I'm gonna explain all of that in my long video later on on my second channel, Rocks Review Long. I know most of you already are there, but I have to keep saying that because I really need that channel to grow because I want to create good content and I can only create good content if my videos receive better reaction. Long story. So, the fact that 47 people already think that he was world's strongest swordsman of his era, and by the way, by the way, if Garling be the world's strongest swordsman of his era, that is the worst news for Mihawk fandom. Because we have an actual contradiction to the title of world's strongest uh, swordsman. That Mihawk, uh, that Zebek and Roger are swordsmen, but somebody else is world's strongest swordsman. So if Garling be hailed as world's strongest swordsman, that would be the greatest nail to the coffin of, world, uh, of Mihawk fandom. That happens. So, yeah, that, and, uh, yeah, I mean, why Roger wasn't World's Strong? I, every, every time that people want to talk to me about World's Strongest Swordsman, I'm saying, why Roger wasn't World's Strongest Swordsman? He was the strongest man with a sword. Why Oda didn't call him World's Strongest Swordsman? Where is the panel that Oda called World's Strongest Swordsman? What if Shanks and Mihawk were gods, a knight, and trained? Uh, I think Mihawk being a god knight make a lot of sense. I, I already have made a short... It's probably going to be released tomorrow or a day after that. Mihawk being a god knight makes a lot of sense, and we have actual hints about it. But now, let's compare Roger to Garling. Again, I'm not going to do a Shanks versus Garling because Ro Roger uh, rocks is world's strongest swordsman of Garling era. That can be it. I don't see why not. But again, we have a different era. We have Roger era. At least in Roger era, Roger should have been the world's strongest swordsman. Roger versus Prime Garling. I guess Roger is going to win by 90% Like, I do not expect anything less than 90%. But I'm going to do it anyway. Prime Garling. 
again, 90% should be in favor of Roger. It makes absolutely little sense if, if this be any other ways. Roger versus God. <laughs> Uh, come on, ninety percent. Come, on, I I have ninety six percent. Thanks God, like it doesn't make sense. <laughs> come on, if Shanks can win against Roger in a poll, nobody, <laughs> his father can't. Come on, ninety percent. We have it at ninety one percent. I want it. Roger should be world's strongest swordsman. Yes, but where is his, his title? Oda didn't give him his title. Why? Can anybody explain to me? To all the people who say world's strongest swordsman is about the overall power, why we don't have a panel? Roger being called World's Strongest Swordsman. So people say, no, he was. Okay, prove it. Oda gave us the titles in the first introduction for Kaido, for, uh, for Mihawk, for Whitebeard. He gave us the, the, the titles. Why he didn't give We here? Are we on? Can you hear me? Okay, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. So 87, come on guys, 90, come on, 90%. I, I have trust in you, 90%. We can do it. Show me the like, show me the like. 90, 90, 90. I'm ending the poll, I'm not ending the poll before 90. Was Ryuma the world's strongest swordsman of his era? He was world's strongest swordsman and world's strongest man of his era. Hello. At least as always. <laughs> Song is a, glad to have you, mate. Like again, like it's, it's some of you assume that I get offended when somebody called my videos an L. <laughs> At best case, I'm wrong. Who gives a shit? Uh, as long as your opinion can change about something, who gives a shit? Uh, do you think Garling is gay? I mean, he has shanks. Oh, come on. 89%. You're teasing me, right? You, 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 you are teasing me. Give me 90%. Oh, you're teasing me. Come on. I'm not, I'm, we're, we're going to be here forever. I have all the time in the world. I just had my third cup of coffee. I can go for hours. Give me 90% on Roger. I have trust in you. I'm not gonna anywhere. I'm not gonna go anywhere. Come on. Maybe creation of permanent black blades. Maybe anyone who got a black blade was called, was uh, was hailed as world's strongest swordsman of their own generation. Maybe. Yeah, 40%. Come on, we're getting lower votes. <laughs> you know what? I cannot win against trolls. I can't. Like, I can't. Uh, why are you supporting Hamas? Uh, are you calling are you calling the trolls in my chat room Hamas supporters? Miyak above Shanks, maybe he is. We have two world strongest swords. That's true. I I made the video about this a year ago. Uh, that people who have Black Blade can be called uh, World's Strongest Swordsman. And by the way, if any of you here, even if you don't like my content, don't forget to like. <laughs> uh, now, <sighs> let's talk about Old Garling. I'm not going to talk about Ryuma because, again, Ryuma, we don't know. That's a speculation video on its own. Now, starting with here, I think that's good. I think that's good. Old Garling versus Zoro. Father of Shanks, leader of Holy Knights. This is putting him against Zoro was a mistake. Come on. Putting Garling, putting anyone in a vote against Zoro is a mistake. I'm, I would be surprised if he wins. He's winning, but come on. It's, it's Zoro, uh, honestly. It's Zoro. I don't think people can. Garling, that's a very, like, honestly, this is a very strong fate. Winning in a poll against Zoro, <laughs> that's not. Zoro is not there yet, of course. 
As sad as Garling probably still stomp, stomp him. I mean, if that's true, G Garling is not even that old. In the backstory, we saw him. He was relatively. He was around thirty something. So thirty eight years past. He's probably approaching seventy. He's younger than the rest of the legends in One Piece. He's like ten years younger than Garp, perhaps. Wait, 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 wait. Garp is seventy nine. Dragon is 55. 55. Dragon is 14 years older than... Dragon is 14 years... 16 years older than Shanks. So perhaps Garp is like 10 to 15 years older than Garling. So Garling might be on much better shape. Wait, 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 wait. How old is Garp? How old is... Old is Garp? Why nobody... Fuck you, Yahoo. I don't know why my... Well, like, let me... I, I need to solve this. This is very important. This is... I'm sorry for wasting your time, but this is very important. This is... This video is not sponsored by Yahoo. I don't know why sometimes I, I have Yahoo. Uh, how old is Garp? But their search engine is shit. So, 78. So, he's 78 years old. Therefore, he's 23 years older than his son. He's 23 years older than his son. So does it make sense for 39? How old is Gar like here's an important question. How old is Garling? How old is Garling? Before talking about the power level of old Garling, we actually need to discuss how old is Garling. Because in the flashback of 38 years ago, he seems relatively young. He seems between age of 20 to 30. Now Garp is 78, Dragon is 55. There is a 23 years old ga age gap between him and his son. The same equation, if this be true, it means right now Shanks is 39 and Garp and, uh, and Garling, 23 years older than that, is 63. So perhaps while he looks very old, 65 is a reasonable age to assume how old is Garling. I'm going to have you guys vote on it. How old is Garling? Around 75. Around 70. Around 65. Around 60. I guess around 70 or around 65 is the best. Like around 75, 65 is the most logical answer. Based, like, because he, in the flashback, he seems extremely young. He doesn't even have a beard. So most people say that he's 65. So here's the most important question. Garp is 79, 78. Garp is 78 years old. 78 years old. So can current Gar Garling defeat current Garp? That's... No, it's not 800,000 years. But it's 800 years, uh, God servants, because we know he's, he, he got older. 
So most people agree with me. 65 seems like 65 to 70. The same range. 75 seems way too old. 60 seems a bit young. It's not 800 years. It's not 800 years because we saw him getting older. So here's a question. Here's a question for the... I'm first going to do the one with Rayleigh. Old Garling versus Old Dark King. I made a mistake. Oh, wait. I made a mistake. Uh, old Garling is seven. Uh, old. End fall. It, it was a mistake. It was a mistake. It was a mistake. Whitebeard was younger than. Uh, e wait, wait, wait. Old Garling versus. Old. Bro said Old Garp defeat. No, Old Garp cannot defeat Kaido. I don't know who said that. Old Dark King. Shadow Z, thanks for the sticker. What? Is your great message do you think shanks dies to bb at the end of elba i think that would be the most i don't here's the thing blackbeard is not even getting enough respect in the story if shanks after all said and done be a hype tool for teach i am disappointed i i am in favor of shanks dying by the end of the story i don't want shanks to live because a good death is actually a good way of saying farewell to a character i don't want to see shanks getting old and die peacefully i want him to die gloriously but dying by the hand of teach it's it's like shanks seems to me as more important character than teach i don't believe an admiral got hype it was a hype tool to sell shanks movie the only time the only time Plot armor was turned to zero was when Shanks fight against Keith. Even in the battle of Garp versus Kuzan, the plot armor was still on. That's why Garp got a lot of injury. The only time that Oda genuinely turned off the plot armor was in the battle between mm, Shanks versus T Keith. Even in the battle against T Teach versus Law, Oda turned the plot armor a bit uh, to save Law from death. It, it would be very, very unlikely to me. So Old Garling is winning. Old Garling is winning. Now, I'm, I, I'm going to do something very dangerous. I'm going to do something very dangerous. dangerous. I'm going to do the forbidden thing and compare Garling, Old Garling versus Old Garp. Age 78, age 65 to 70. There is around a 10 years gap between Garp and Garling. I know Garp is going to win this poll. It just, it, a miracle is not going to happen. But even though the prime Garling is, a, is obviously weaker, the age gap might give him the upper hand in old age. Maybe. What do you guys think? Again, I understand. As of now, I am also going to go with old Garp because we just don't know the effect of age on both characters. But it's fair to say the old Garp was extremely weak in the hockey game. 
but uh, gar right, right uh, Salman Opie said but currently Garling has white hair no he has red hair we never see the color even in this chapter even in this chapter go to the red hairs are wait I can I can I think I can find it I think I can find the difference between red and non hair one piece garling wait wait there is a difference between Oda drawing white hair and red hair again 65 is good enough to get all the, the gray hair So this is and Okay. I'm going to turn this a bit okay here for you guys to see. First of all, I love the I I, I love the fact that my video is on the first uh, pictures and recommendation of Google. I really love that. I showed this, uh, yeah, it's it's a good. And okay, here's the thing. This is old garling hair. This might be white hair, but this also might be gray hair. You see this? I, I don't know if, if you guys you see this. And now let's go here. Prime garling. young garling so you see the hair color is the same the red so the next time that we see uh garling he might not even have red hair he might not even have gray hair so again old gar not even akainu not even akainu can defeat old gar uh, uh, old gar in a poll so I'm not gonna count on that. Like, no, it's, it's I I don't expect uh, Garling to defeat Old Gar. But is he Admiral level? Now that's an important question. I still don't think uh, Garling is a father of Shanks. Maybe there is a tiny chance. It's 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 if if he be the uncle, the uh, the only reason for Sh Garling not be the father of Shanks is if. Zebek is. So, is old Garling Admiral level? Again, his old age is probably around 60, which is like Big Mom age. Big Mom was 68. Big Mom was 68. I wish she was 69. <laughs> so yes, a lot of people say yes. Rocks, do you think Mihawk will fight Garling? I mean, I think Mihawk. Come on, Prime Mihawk. Prime Mihawk, Mihawk versus Prime Garling was a f fun fight to see, but Prime Mihawk versus Old Garling, that's unfair. So we move him on Admiral level, of course. I, I think he, he narratively he should be Admiral level. So the next poll, it's it's obvious. Admiral level is obvious. You guys understand. Now I think I, he's gonna stop below Odin, but let's go. Old Garling. versus Green Ball and Fujitora. Either Fujitora or, or Greenball. I see them as almost equal. Who is a stronger? Then do not forget to like if you haven't liked the chat uh, um, video already. 
Old Garling or Fujitora and Green Ball? Who? Fujitora have the poll as of now. Now, honestly, it's very hard to say, but if Garling... Now, what's my opinion? I think Garling being Admiral level makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense. If he has a Black Blade or Supreme, a Supreme Blade, I think it's a given. I already said if, it's, if he doesn't have Supreme Blade, I will shave my own head and I will stand by it. Uh, the idea, it's all depend of how weak in his hockey got. If Garling is still on his hockey game and he can use his hockey good, he can defeat Fujitora or Green Ball. That's, that's the line. I think Admiral level makes a lot of sense. But Prime Odin, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to do one poll about Odin as well, just to see your opinion. I think this is, the fact that we have this much agreement, the I think the only real disagreement is putting Shanks a level above Mihawk, but that's like 1%. Like Shanks edge it out to Pirate King level, but Mihawk doesn't, as of now. Odin is not Admiral level. No, I think Odin is. <laughs> That's that was a peak argument. We never we never we, here's the thing. An Admiral feared facing Kaido. Odin didn't. He already has one up above Fujitora or Greenball. Maybe if it was Kuzan, I would have had Kuzan above Odin. Maybe I had Kuzan above Odin. But not Green Ball and Fujitora. No. And all the people who say Mihawk is above Shanks, you have a great argument. A lot of you joined us early. I'm not... What am I drinking? I was drinking coffee, but now it's just water. Cold water. Because it's actually very cold in my stadium. I wasn't even supposed to be here. I was supposed to edit my video about Chapter 1095. But I, I said, you know what? I have enough time to go alive. Come on, the leader of Holy Knights got to be a stronger than Admiral. I think, you see, here's the thing, a prime guarding. Here's the thing, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, 55%. I'm, before, before, before talking. That's it for me today. God servant, I loved having you around. Every member of my channel, you are especially loved. I love you guys for supporting me in any way that you can. And even if you, I, I understand, like, not everybody have, like, money to spend on a youtuber so your likes is enough for me you you being here me talking to you it's all enough but prime garling i think i know the answer but let's do that as well like like now that i'm now that we are debating i guess yes a prime garling should be above a kind i think that's narratively makes better sense dude i really need to see garling the the, the, the good thing is that we probably can get garling very soon very oh it's a close oh akainu oh it's amazing akainu i mean i did expect akainu love but come on i expect a, a hockey based fighter win and we don't even know if garning has a devil food or not and by the way in the la latest chapter the prize the prize I, Eureka, I, 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 I had a theory right now. Wait, 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 wait. In chapter 1075, we had six boxes as the prize for winners in the tournament. And all those, okay, hear me out. Forget about power level. Forget about power level. 
Hear me out. In chapter 1095, celestial dragons had six bucks as their prize. The boxes looked like devil food box, the very same box that we saw in the first chapter of One Piece. What if Saint Figureland Garling won the tournament as we know he did because he's the champion of God Valley and his prize was Gomu Gomu no Mi? But the government had no idea that Gomu Gomu no Mi, the celestial dragon at least, didn't know that Gomu Gomu no Mi is the Nika devil food. And that's why Shanks exactly knew who has that devil food. Nick uh, Garling won the Gomu Gomu no Mi as the main prize of the tournament. But he never got the opportunity of using it because God Valley War happened. And perhaps Zvik attacked God Valley because of those devil fruits. But why Garling didn't eat it afterward? But it makes sense because how did Shanks knew see, even the agents of CP9 who had that devil fruit had no idea what type of position they had. Perhaps even Garling had no idea. Perhaps Shanks heard the description of that devil fruit that Garling owed from Garling himself, went after that, uh, uh, but at the same time, he knew the devil fruit of Nika from Roger. And that's why he knew the world government and CP9 had Gomu Gomu no Mi. He went after it, he took it. Makes perfect fucking sense. Garling won Gomu Gomu no Mi. He won it during the tournament of God Valley. Rox Dizebek attacked God Valley because of that devil fruit. Garling never had the opportunity of eating it and gave that away for, or, or promote or gave the order to CP9 to hold that devil fruit. Shanks knew the exact nature of Gomu Gomu no Mi and Nika devil fruit. He heard the description of this devil fruit from Garling. The information of Garling, the information of Roger, put together, give him the information of where is the Nika Sangat Nika devil fruit. And that's why even the CP agents had no idea they have Nika devil fruit. Even Gorose had no idea that they have Nika devil fruit under their position, but Shanks knew and Shanks took it. Makes perfect sense. I'm going to do a poll about it. Give your opinion about this theory. Garling won Nika devil food. Does this theory make sense? I think everything makes sense. I, I guess they had six random devil fruit and they just give it to the winners. Because Shanks is trying to help Nika. Come on, Shanks is not evil. Shanks heard the description of that. Shanks knew the true nature of Nika devil fruit. He said, okay, the devil fruit that my father has is in fact Nika. Nobody knows it. I should go and take it before world government figures it out. That's why the Gorosei genuinely said, we never had Nika devil fruit under our position because they had no idea. It makes, again, I don't care if it's, if it's gonna happen or not. Yeah. See, th th this was a genuine theory during a live. Makes perfect. This is how I came up with my theories. I think, okay, that makes sense. I don't care if it's going to be true or not. But Shanks, maybe, 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 maybe. Garling took the devil fruit, put Shanks in that box and left them to see. And, and left them on Roger's ship, maybe. Maybe she, Garling cares about family, maybe. He cares about blood very clearly. Garling unknowingly refused to got 
uh, Nika for the sake of his son. That's a good story. Come on, that's a good plot line. That's a good theory. And maybe rocks go to. Ra that's what I said. That maybe rocks go went to that island not because of killing the celestial dragons, because he wanted the Nika Devil food for himself. He knew. Makes sense. Huh, Oda taking notes from this guy. <laughs> no, Oda, Oda always have a better plan. 52, I can miss 52% of people for this theory. <laughs> I mean, it's a very unlikely one. Saturn was there, but Saturn had no idea that's Nika Devil Food. I'm honestly, I'm going to turn this part of the video into a vi actual video. Yeah. So, back to the topic. Back to the topic. Back to the topic. I'm going to make this part a video. I have to share this. Back to the topic. Last poll. Last poll of the live. God, that was a rush. 50% uh, of people were, I don't know, were convinced. Okay. Because uh, Roger is a, because Roger saved Celestial Dragon. So he could help. So Garling was in connection and in good connection to Roger during that war. Maybe he trusts him that much. I don't know. I cannot... Ryuma is either god tier, either pirate king level, or either Yonko. To me, he's near equal to Mihawk. To me, the safest bet for Mihawk, for Ryuma, is near... If, if Maybe here, maybe between Mihawk and... Maybe above Mihawk, I don't know. I, it's, no, it's a speculation video on its own. Mihawk... Garling can be... Uh, uh, Mihawk... Ryuma, I, I lost my uh, uh, composure. Ryuma can be very overrated. I agree. Old Garling versus Odin. That's final poll. I think this is a good place for him to stop. I think... I think for me too that this is a good place for him to stop. Old Garling... I mean, we have already prime, uh, prime Garling that high. We, we don't need to win it all. We don't, we don't need to have it all. Have you ever ever, ever had, heard that stupid term, having it all? What, what does that even mean, having it all? Odin is winning, of course. So, to me, the ranking is here. Zebek, Roger, Shanks. Mihawk, Prime Garling. Uh, Rayleigh, Shiki, Big Mom. Odin. Green Bull, Fujitora, Old Garling, Rayleigh, Zoro La, Shiryu, Seraphim, uh, Mihawk, S Hawk, and King. The only diff, I think the only major, the, the only mm, difference that my opinion has with you is that you have, I think this is your poll. This is your ranking. If, if I go based on your ranking, this is your list. And this is my list. We, we have three spot difference in opinion, which, uh, which you know what? I'm going to stand on it. I'm not going to go with the you know, public opinion on everything. Uh, every man is... Uh, what do we have if not our opinions? So, I'm going to give you the final moments. We're going to have one minute for everybody. Why Fujitora is above uh, Green Bull is above Fujitora? No reason. Like, narratively, to, the standard idea for One Piece is that admirals who fight with, uh, face against Luffy are stronger the later they come. That's the only narrative point that I have. I guess they are 99% equal. So if anybody haven't liked already, like, because it means a lot to me if you like. In my city, Dragon come and use the wind with our... <laughs> yeah, I'm actually freezing here as well. I mean, actually, not freezing, but it's cold. I wish I had my tanked up. 
you, my opinion will change in Elbaf. Of course, if if any day my opinion didn't change, uh, fuck me, not in a good way. Zori is not a fraud, but he's a low top tier. If anybody haven't liked already, do not forget to like. If anybody want to join my channel as a member, again, I said, if we have enough members, I can invite you guys to the channel so you can talk. My opinion is not more, is not that much better than most of the people that follow One Piece. Most of you can be a better One Piece reader than I am. You clearly know a lot of things that I don't know. Rocks is a buggy. Nah, don't forget to kind of, don't forget to kind of put him on that level. Put Mihawk above Shanks if he earned it one day. My throat is actually killing me. Uh, I don't know how BDA Law does nine hour live. He needs to give me a lot of tips. Uh, final chance. If anybody haven't liked, like it already. And thanks for 112 likes. Nobody answered my question. Rox is a buggy in the end of the day? No, he's not. Roger ranked him, oh, Kaido ranked him among top five, the strongest people he ever saw. With all said and done, Old Whitebeard was called the strongest, but Kaido beat him. Old, old Whitebeard, uh, Fujitora can defeat him. Okay, like, mm, mm, mm. Fujitora can be very equal to Old Whitebeard in Marineford condition. So thanks for all your support. Thanks for the donations. Thanks for the comments. Thanks for the likes. Thanks for participating in polls. Thanks for giving me epiphany for a good theory, which I believe is a good theory. Uh, 